Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all my students. Today, you will be study about the topic number 5 which is torsion of circular shaft. And then you can refer into the textbooks Mechanic of Materials 10 edition R.C. Hebler in chapter number 5. Before we start the class, students should know about the learning outcome uh, for this topic. The learning outcome for this topic, uh, students should be able to determine the shear stress in the circular shaft due to torsion. Second, able to determine the angle of twist. And third is able to analyze statically the indeterminate torque loaded member. For the introduction, torsion refers to the twist of a structural member when it is loaded by couples that produce rotation about the uh, longitudinal axis. The couple that cause the tension are called torque, twisting couples or twisting moment. If you can see in this figure, figure A, the longitudinal grid line originally marked on the shaft tend to distort into a helix. When the torque is applied, the longitudinal grid lines intersect the uh, the, uh, the circles at equal angle shown in figure B. This one, all the cross section, uh, all all the cross section of the shaft will remain flat, and radial line remain straight. Okay, and rotate during this. Uh, deformation provided the angle of twist is small then the length of the shaft and its radius will remain practically unchanged this is the theory for the torsion formula okay the following condition are used in the torsion of the circular shaft first Sectional planes perpendicular to the axis of the shaft remain plane during torque application. Second, second theory is the shear strain varies lin linearly from the from a value of zero at the axis of the shaft to a maximum at the extreme radius. Third. Theory is for linearly elastic materials, hook law is applicable, and shear stress is linearly pro pro proportional to shear strain. For considerations of symmetry, the cross section uh, the cross section of the circular bar rotators as rigid body about the longitudinal axis and the cross sections remain straight and circular okay for the sign uh, convention okay the sign convention for both torque and angle of twist is positive if the uh, right hand thumb is direct up outward from the shaft while the finger curl in the direction of the top shown in this figure okay 
when uh, when an external torque is applied to a shaft in equilibrium uh, requires internal torque within the shaft if the material is lean is linear elastic then hook law apply okay for torsion which is hook law is tau equals to g times with gamma or tau max equals to g times gamma maximum where tau is shear stress g is shear modulus or modulus of rigidity and then gamma is shear strain if the elastic behavior is linear elastic then a linear variation in the in the shear strain leads to the to a linear variation in shear stress so the shear stress for the solid shaft will vary from zero at the shaft longitudinal axis to a maximum value tau maximum at its outer surface okay the torsion formula is this one which is uh, tau equals to rho divided by c times with tau maximum okay the shear stress depend on both the torque and the cross section uh, moment of inertia for circular shaft that moment of iner inertia is referred to as polar moment of inertia which is j okay since each element of area da located at rho is subjected to force of df equals to tau da the torque procedure by this force is then dt equals to rho times tau da for the entire cross section t this one t equals to integrate rho times tau da equals to integrate rho times rho minus uh, uh, rho divided by c times tau maximum da however tau maximum over c is constant is constant and so t equals to tau max divided by c uh, integrate rho squared da as a result the torsion equation can be rearranged and written in a more compact form namely this one tau maximum equals to tc over j similarly to tau equals to t rho divided by j okay so tau maximum is maximum shear stress in the shaft tau is shear stress t is resultant uh, torque internal torque J is polar moment of inertia of cross sectional area. C is outer radius of the shaft. Rho is intermediate distance. Okay, uh, this is show uh, how to calculate the uh, mol polar molar uh, polar moment of inertia J. Okay, if the shaft has a solid circular cross section. Okay, so you can use this equation for J. Okay, this this equation. Okay, so J equals to pi over two times c to the power of four. If the shaft has a tubular cross section, okay, you must remember this one is tubular and then this one is circular, and then J is this equation you must you must use j equals to pi over 2 times c uh, c o to power of 4 minus c i to power of 4 okay since uh, 
this this uh, this slide is for the how to calculate the angle of twist. Okay, since Hooke law apply gamma equals to tau divided by g, and the shear stress can be expressed in term of uh, applied torque using the uh, torsion formula, which is tau equals to T x rho divided by j x. Okay, then uh, gamma equals to uh, you can substitute this equation into this equation. Okay, and then you can get uh, the value is the the formula is gamma equals to T x uh, rho divided by j x g x, and then you can substitute this into the equation d theta uh, equals to g times dx over rho okay and then the angle of the twist for the this is therefore theta equals to tx divided by jx gx times times uh, dx okay and then you can integrate this equation and then you can get the uh, theta angle of twist for the entire shaft is integrate L0 Tx dx divided by Jx g ok theta is angle of twist Tx is internal torque Jx is shaft polar molar of uh, polar moment of uh, inertia g is uh, shear modulus of elasticity for the uh, material and then for the uh, this uh, this one is the uh, summarize uh, for the angle of twist okay constant torque and cross sectional area okay assume material is homogeneous g is constant so that the theta is tl over jg this one you must remember for the angle of twist okay what is t what is l and divided by jg okay for the sign convention before this i uh, show you is determined by right hand rule okay this one is the procedure uh, for the statically indeterminate torque loaded member Okay, this procedure is you can be used both uh, equilibrium and compatibility equation. First, uh, equilibrium. First, you must draw the free body diagram of the shaft, and then you must write the equation of the moment equilibrium about the axis of the shaft. And then, second procedure is for the compatibility. Okay, to write the a uh, compatibility equation investigate the way the shaft will twist and subject when subjected to the external load and give consideration okay as to how the support uh, constrain the shaft when it is twisted okay and then express the compatibility condition in term of rotation displacement uh, caused by uh, reactive torque and then use the torque displacement relation and relation such as theta equals to tl over jg to relate the unknown torque to the unknown displacement and then last is solve the equation equilibrium and compatibility equation okay that's all for topic number four or uh, number five okay thank you so much okay assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh